Within the past couple weeks, upwards of a month or more, we have seen increased activity at volcanoes around the globe. Now, primarily, Hawaii came out of nowhere with its activity, really started to ramp things up. And as many have seen and witnessed, there have been ongoing evacuations, ongoing eruptions. And just last night, there was a 5.6 that struck the dome of that volcano in Hawaii during another eruption. So it's an ongoing cycle. Sometimes when these things spring to life, it can continue to erupt for some time. In Guatemala, we just witnessed the same thing, a massive eruption followed by a secondary eruption. Lots of people lost their lives in that event. And now we have concerns about Yellowstone, which is always a concern for anyone that lives in the United States. Really, anyone that's in the Northern Hemisphere, really, anyone globally, any one of these super volcanoes erupt, it's going to change life for all of us. And what they're seeing with Yellowstone is not only the rise and fall of certain areas, which we've talked about in increased seismic activity in certain areas, which is common, especially when you have small amounts of magma on the move and you have such a massive territory that sits right there at the caldera. When I first reported on this, they said, okay, there hasn't been a series of eruptions like this in some time. And they said that the last time there, that there was an eruption period was back in 2014. Scientists are unsure why all of a sudden the geyser is experiencing a string of eruptions. Something that hasn't happened like this for decades. And they're saying that the steamboat is a larger, more powerful version of Old Faithful. It shoots this nearly boil, boiling hot water up to 345 feet into the air. And right now it appears that there is an approximate periodicity of eruptions of between seven to eight days. So right now, USGS is up in there trying to study the seismic activity. They're setting up seismic arrays across the geyser to try to capture the rumblings during this eruption. And they're trying to reconstruct the plumbing of this geyser by measuring sound waves as they travel through the geyser up through the seismic sensors. So they're trying to map the best they can as far as they can underground to see exactly how this underwater system is operating, also how it coincides with the magma plumes, how close it's getting. If they mix at any point, you can see a massive explosion just generated from the steam alone. So something they're trying to get a better beat on and trying to get an answer as to why all of a sudden this thing is going off so frequently on the heels of other volcanoes going off around the globe. I'll leave a link. I'll continue to update with more as I come across it. It's been Dabu7. Much love.